everyone, I'm Teacher Cecil. How are you guys doing? It's a new month here at IES Kids and we have a new series, Super Fan. I'm just curious, what's your favorite sport? Cool! Those are some great ones. I love sports so much. I love to play sports and I love to watch sports too. I love to cheer for my team. If you think about it, that's what we are actually doing when we show kindness. We're cheering each other on. It's like we're super fans of each other. We can call that as kindness. You see, kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. We need to show kindness to the people around us. We need to let them know we're big fans of them with the words we say and the things we do. There's an important reason why we should do that and which we will find out later in our Bible story. But for now, let's play a sports trivia quiz. Isn't it exciting? I will read some facts about the sports game and I want you to guess what kind of sport I am talking about. Are you guys ready? Okay, question number one. We have to dribble the ball with our hands. The ball is kind of big and we have to jump and run a lot. What kind of sport is it? Yes, it's basketball. Okay, question number two. We need a long stick to play this. We play in the big field. The ball is tiny and white and we have to aim for the small hole in the ground. What sport is it? It's golf, you guess it right. Question number three. We better stretch out our body before we do this. We will be wet playing this sport. There are several techniques and styles that we can do and we need a good technique to be able to breathe properly. What sport is it? Correct, it's swimming. Okay, going to question number four. You need a racket to play this. We don't have a ball in this sport. Instead, we have something with feathers. Prepare your stamina because you need to run and jump a lot. What kind of sport is this? If you guess badminton, you are right. Question number five, and this is the last one. This is a really famous sport in the world. They even have a grand tournament called World Cup involving more than 30 countries. You have to kick the ball to the goalpost and score as many as you can in order to win. What kind of sport is it? Yes, it's soccer! Did you know that soccer is also called as football in Europe? But it's different from American football. And that's the fun trivia quiz, isn't it? Now let's prepare our hearts to listen to the Bible story with Pastor Daniel. Hey everyone, welcome back to IS Kids Church online video. It's February, and this month is all about kindness. Wait, what kindness is all about? Kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. It's really important for us to show kindness to the people around us. But that's not always easy, is it? It helps if we can remember where our kindness comes from in the first place. What if you're hanging out with some friends in your neighborhood or apartment complex and one kid says that he wants to hang out with someone else instead of you. No, I don't want to play with you. You're no fun. 
I would be really upset if someone didn't want to hang out with me. It would be hard to show them kindness, right? One more example. It could even be your brother or your sister who just seems to bug you all the time. You are in the middle of doing something serious like doing your homework or playing video game. Mm, wait a minute, that's not something serious, but you know what I mean. And then all of a sudden your brother or your sister is running around you while screaming or yelling or even asking you to do something without even say please. Whee! I want to play with you! Guys, stop! Guys, stop! Stop her! Wait a minute! I'm in the middle of my game! Still go! Ah, that was so annoying! It would be a lot easier for you to say something mean to your siblings, right? But maybe it would help if we think about where kindness really comes from. We know what kindness looks like because we know how kind God has been to us. Take a look at what the Apostle Paul wrote in the book of Ephesians. This was part of a letter Paul wrote to the people in the church in the, in the town of Ephesus. It's written in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. You see, Paul wanted the Ephesians to remember the amazing example of kindness we have in Jesus. God loves us so much that he sent Jesus for us. Jesus died on the cross so that we could be forgiven for the things we have done wrong. He showed once and for all how valuable we are to him. He gave us the greatest example of kindness the world has ever known. Because of that, we should be kind to one another. We should follow God's example that he gave us in Jesus. There are lots of ways we can show kindness. You can forgive your friends every time they say something that hurts your heart. Instead of saying something mean back, right? After all, maybe it was just a misunderstanding. And when you have to deal with your brother or sister, you can stop what you're doing at that moment and just play with them for a while. You can also teach them how important it is to, to always say please and thank you to other people. Who knows, you might even have some fun playing with them or spending time with them while you're at it. Barry, come play with me. <laughs> Yay. Sorry, I was so mad at That's you. Okay. okay, let's go play. You see, things gonna be more beautiful that way. You can be a kind super fan. You can show others they are fallible when you treat them the way you want to be treated. That's not always easy, I know. But you can make the first move when you choose to be kind. I bet all of you have been in situations before when it was really hard to be kind to someone, right? It's important to remember that you don't have to let someone be mean to you. If you have a problem with someone that's not getting better, ask an adult for help. You cannot control how someone else will act, but you can control how you act. Instead of acting the same way back, you can decide to show kindness. It starts when you remember why you should be kind in the first place. Let's read our bottom line together. Be kind to others because God is kind to you. When you don't feel like being kind, you can ask God for help. Think about how kind God was to you when he sent Jesus for you. That will help you remember to show kindness even when it's difficult. Hi, IES kids. I am Teacher Rams. It's great to be back. Let's do the memory verse of the month together. You are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud. Be gentle and patient. Colossians 3.12 Let's read together one more time. You are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved, so put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud. Be gentle and patient. 
Colossians 3, 12. When we are around other people, we're always ready to be kind to others because God is kind to you. Would people around you, your family, friends, or classmates, say that you put on kindness and wear it? Would they say you are kind all the time? Why or why not? What could you do to change that? Let me give you a challenge. List down five ways you could be kind to your family this week. Pray about this and ask God to help you while doing this five things. Why is it important to be kind to others? Mm -hmm. You have some great ideas about kindness. Good job! Our Bible story today reminded us that you should be kind to others because God is kind to you. God has shown kindness that He values you by sending Jesus to rescue us providing for what we need, forgiving us when we mess up, or being with us when we are scared and lonely, giving us strength to do hard things, helping us forgive others, and many, many more. Can you do any of these things for other people? Maybe by doing something like sharing with friends in need, or forgiving each other, or comforting people when they are scared, helping friends when they feel lost, encouraging each other, or even giving up something like screen time or toys in order to be kind? I'm sure you can. So I ask kids, I want you to think about this throughout the week. When was the last time you were kind? To someone. It's so important for us to show kindness, even when it's tough, even when people don't really deserve it. Even in those times, we can choose to be kind with God's help. After all, God Himself gave us the best ever example of kindness, right? So we have to follow Him. Now I want us to say thank you for the hard work of our volunteers and teachers in making this video. Let's say it together with me. One, two, three. Thank you, everyone. Now it's time to pray. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us and for always choosing to show kindness to us. You know how we feel and you care about each one of us. Help us show kindness to others and show them that they are valuable and important. Help us to forgive like you have forgiven us. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I as kids, always remember our bottom line for this week. Be kind to others because God is kind to you. Here's your challenge of the week. Write down five ways that you can show kindness to your family this week and ask God to help you as you do these five things. Welcome to the party! Oh. Wait, let's celebrate! What party is this? Oh, uh, what are we celebrating? It's a celebration! It's a... Oh, I know! Birthday party of all IS kids and volunteers! Yes. yes! I love parties. Me too. So, I'm so. not a really good singer, but I can sing for you. Wow! Wow! That would be let's great! Let's happy birthday! Yeah. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Yeah. Ah, that was so, Pastor Danny, that was awesome. Yes, I loved it. it. Thank now you. we now, have 
to still eat cake and we blow candles and uh, uh, oh no we cannot blow the candles you know but i got an idea let's oh. try it okay one two three yeah. wait we haven't prayed yet that's the, one of the most important things right. for birthdays let's pray let's pray let's pray, let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for all of the kids and volunteers that ha who's having a birthday, Lord, uh, this month. And we are so thankful because of them, Lord. Lord, we pray that you will uh, keep them in a good health and you will always bless them and protect them and be with their family. Thank you for everything, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Everyone say, Amen! Amen. So